Hey there! If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Designing Women 1986 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Delta Burke played the character Suzanne Sugarbaker in the TV series when she was 30 years old in 1986. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 67-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Orlando, Florida. Right, don't resent it. Just a touch of... Come hither. This is so exciting. I was all depressed about my birthday, but this pageant has just got my juices flowing again. Like Join the camaraderie and a sense of celebration and... Very excited for that, but I've never taken myself seriously. Annie Potts played the character Mary Jo Shively. She was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Here she is at a cool 71, chilling in Nashville, Tennessee, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Softball every spring. I mean, there's a big trip to Six Flags over Georgia. Listen, I, thank you all for bringing me. I do appreciate it. I, I always enjoy being gray. Just because most actors, actresses, don't go, you know, I'm just, I can't wait to be gray. Um, I myself had recently. Jean Smart played the character Charlene Fraser Stillfield in the TV series when she was 35 years old in 1986. Check it out. At 72 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Seattle, Washington. It's Charlene. Hi. There's a rumor going around that Suzanne's going to try to force you to have dinner with me. Oh, well, she did mention something. Meshach Taylor played the character Anthony Bouvier. He was 39 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Sadly, on June 28, 2014, he left us due to colorectal cancer at the age of 67 in Altadena, California. His passing deeply saddens us. Of the McPherson versus Stoller decision. Uh huh. Well, uh, 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 McPherson mm. versus Stoller. Well, now, oh, oh, I, I know I got. Don't tell me, see, uh. The case of the dangle. And what is your profession, sir? I'm a professional actor, a performer. I've been doing this 40 years. I'm Emmy nominated. I've been all over the world. Dixie Carter played the character Julia Sugarbaker in the TV series when she was 46 years old in 1986. April 10th, 2010 was a tough one. She left us due to complications from endometrial cancer at 70 years old in Houston, Texas. It's a sad loss for all of us. She trusted you. She waited four months before her breasts had become so misshapen. She had to come back. But by then, it was too late. His pipe sitting, leaning, rocking in his chair, and they both stop one after the other and say, what's that town like up ahead where the people like it? The old man says, what kind of people? Alice Ghostly played the character Bernice Clifton. She was 63 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on September 21st, 2007, she left us after colon cancer and a series of strokes at 84 in Burbank, California. We're really filling the loss. Who want the rest of us? I think she makes a good point. Oh, who cares what you think? You're not even all there. Well, as I'm not doing much about it, just doping a little and taking some aspirin. He said a couple of nuns pulled me out of it. He Julia Duffy played the character Allison Sugarbaker in the TV series when she was 35 years old in 1986. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 72-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Ramsey County, Minnesota. Two. Any conditions that we deem appropriate and may be revoked at any time. Well, actually, first, I'd like you to step out. 
tiny little thing always matters. Whatever works is the best way to go, of course, and everybody's going to be different. All actors are different in some ways. Um, Jan Hooks played the character Carlene Frazier Dauber. She was 29 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Sadly, on October 9th, 2014, she left us due to a heart attack at the age of 57 in Decatur, Georgia. Her passing deeply saddens us. Was in the cafeteria last night, and Anthony is just so sure that he is pining away with love for me. It's so Thank you very silly. much, Dr. Burke. <laughs> Not gonna sign up for anything. I'm a free spirit. Okay. And besides, was... it's so cheap. 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. Yeah, th thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Judith Ivey played the character B.J. Pultit in the TV series when she was 35 years old in 1986. Check it out. At 72 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in El Paso, Texas. It's no use. I know what y'all are trying to do. I'm just going to have to face the hard truth that Miss Carolyn... Not once or two or three, but four. So hip hip hooray from front to rear. Al Holbrook played the character Reese Watson in the TV series when he was 61 years old in 1986. Sadly, on January 23, 2021, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 95 in Beverly Hills, California. His passing deeply saddens us. To family and friends, I shall be happy to sign your annulment papers, Reese Watson. I hereby annul you. Because the purpose of doing Twain for me is to just make people think. When you were. Cheryl Lee Ralph played the character Etienne Toussaint Bouvier. She was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Check it out. At 67 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam packed with passions right here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Quit it. <laughs> and I said to them, guess what? I told Seth yes. I'm so, I'm already so disappointed that people are going to be watching this. All right, let's chat. Who's your absolute favorite character from Designing Women? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And as usual, please show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.